Okay, boys and girls, good morning. Today for math, you're going to be working on page 481 in your My Math book, which is the same page that you worked on yesterday, but you're going to be finishing up that page today. Okay, page 481 in your My Math book. So we're going to be doing something very similar, except it's going to be written in a different format today. We're going to look at subtracting vertically. Before we start, I want to remind you that this, my dear, dear uh, students, is called a 10. Because there are 10 little squares in this bar. So it is called a 10. If it's just on its own, like this, it's called a one. So 10 ones make a 10. This is one, 10 of these make up a 10. That's why it's called the 10, because it has 10 little ones inside of it, okay? So make sure you're on page 481. I'm going to do the work on my whiteboard today, but you're going to do it in your math book. So number 10 in your math book looks something like this. It says nine tens minus two tens equals blank tens. And then... Over here we have 90 minus 20. That's what your problem looks like in your book. Okay, so what this is telling me is nine tens, nine of these. I need nine of these, nine tens. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw them. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, that got bad. Nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to imagine that inside of these, inside of each one, there's ten little ones. I don't want to spend the time drawing it. It would take too long, but we're going to imagine that each one of these has 10 little, has 10 of these, okay? So we have nine tens minus two tens. That means we're gonna cross out two because minus means take away. We're gonna take away, we're not gonna add, we're gonna take away from this. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens left. We have seven tens. Now this problem right next to it is the same thing, except now instead of counting tens, we wanna know how many little ones there are. And I can sit here and I can count every single one to figure it out, but that would take so long. We don't have time for that. So in the beginning there were nine tens. That means there were 90 little squares in all of this. There were 90, but we took away 20 of them. So how many are left? One way that we can figure that out is by counting the tens again, but now we're gonna be counting by tens. So we go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I only count the ones that are left. I don't count these anymore because we took them away. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So I know that 90 minus 20 equals 70. Another way to look at it is like this. 9 minus 2 is the same over here, right? So I can say, if I know what nine minus two is, I bring down my seven and then I bring down my zero and it equals 70. 70 tens is the same as 70. 70 groups of 10, seven groups of 10 
means I have 70 little squares in here. Okay, we're going to do one more together. We're going to do number 11 together. And then you're going to work on numbers 12 and 13 on your own. Okay, number 11 on your in your book on page 481 says 5 tenths minus 3 tenths. And then the other problem says 50 minus 30. Okay, 5 tenths is the same as 50. 3 tenths is the same as 30. The only difference is in this one, we're counting it by bar. And in this one, we're counting it by ones. So 5 tenths means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups of 10. Minus 3. Remember, minus means we take away. Minus 1, 2, 3. That leaves me with 2 bars, 2 groups of 10, 2 tens. Now, remember, I'm not going to use these anymore. I crossed them out already. Over here, it says 50 minus 30. That means that when I started, I had 50 little cubes in all of these. I had 50. If I were to count all the little cubes, we had 50. But then we took away 30. 10, 20, 30. We took away those 30. They're gone. That leaves us with these two. And instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, I can count by 10s because I know that this is a group of 10. So we say 10, 20. So 50 minus 30 equals 20. Look at 5 minus 3, 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3 equals 2. 5 minus 3 equals 2. And then we just bring down our 0. Okay? So now you are going to do numbers 12. You're going to work on number 12 and number 13. 13 in your my math book on your own and let's go ahead and turn the page to 482 482 and we're going to work on problem number 14 it says justin caught i'm writing it down again justin caught 30 fish, Paul caught 20 fish, how many how many more fish did Justin catch then Paul? And that's a question mark. Okay, Justin caught 20 fish, 30 fish, and Paul caught 20. Okay. So let's see, we're going to underline what we know. We know that Justin caught 30 fish and Paul caught 20 fish. And we want to know how many more fish did Justin catch than Paul? So our keyword here let me move these out of the way. Our keyword here is how many more? How many more? That tells me that we are going to subtract. 
how many more tells me that we are going to subtract? So I'm going to use a J for Justin. Justin caught 30 fish. Paul caught 20 fish. And it says, how many more did Justin catch than Paul? So we are going to subtract. So we can do this with pictures. 30 means 10, 20, 30. So inside of these, there are 30 little squares. I know they're not perfect, but we're going to imagine that there's 30 little squares. 10, 20, 30. Now, minus 20 means we're going to take away 10, 20. We're left with how many? How many little squares are we left with? We are left with 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Another way of doing it or looking at it be 3 minus 2 equals 1. And then we bring down our 0. Okay. Finally, number 15 is one that you're going to work on on your own. Mm. It says, there are 40 children. So this is number 15. There are 40 children. in Lily's dance class. 20 of them are girls. Um, how many of them are boys? So we're going to underline what we know. We know that there are 40 children in Lily's dance class. 20 of them are girls. And we want to know how many of them are boys. So we know that there are 40. All together in the dance class there are 40. To find how many boys there are, we're going to subtract how many girls there are. So if uh, altogether there are 40, so let's say 10, 20, 30, 40. So if I were to count all of these, there would be 40 kids in the dance class. We want to know how many of these kids are boys. We know that 20 of them are girls, so we count those out because they're girls. 10, 20. 20 of them are girls. That leaves how many? How many are left? Okay, go ahead and write your answer. Um, for number, the hot problem, um, you can put an X through it. It's not something I'm going to be checking, okay? So you don't have to do the hot problem. You can put an X through it. If you want to go ahead and try it, you're more than welcome to, but it's not something you have to complete today. Okie doke. So you are responsible for problems 12, 13, and 15 on your own. 12, 13, and 15 on your own. Um, take a picture of it and send it over to me.